and today's menu, a noodle recipe that's perfect for those chilly days. Vegan gochujang ramen. Le ho ma, I'm Will Young. Welcome to my channel where I help you cook with confidence. Now before we start cooking, I want to take a minute to thank you very, very much for ordering the print version or the ebook version of my vegan ramen cookbook that I published not too long ago. You can find out more information about this book in the link above or a link in the description box below. Thank you very much. This does support this small cooking show in the vast world of YouTube. And for that, I'm very grateful and very humbled. Thank you very much and a special thank you for your extended patience and understanding for the shipping delays due to COVID-19. I recognize that you have been waiting for a very long time for the print version of this book in some countries. So thank you very, very much for your understanding and patience. Now, gochujang ramen is absolutely easy to make. It's not a recipe that's in this cookbook. There is a similar version in this cookbook, but I'm going to show you step by step even how to make this amazing quick version of the gochujang chili paste. And then we're going to make this amazing ramen. Saucepan. Medium heat. Two tablespoon cane sugar. Half a cup water. One teaspoon pink salt. Four tablespoons Korean pepper powder. 1 tablespoon dark or red miso 1 tablespoon rice vinegar 1 tablespoon sesame oil Stir until combined Your sauce should thicken up after a few minutes We're only using 1 tablespoon for this recipe The rest you can keep in the fridge and enjoy for up to 2 weeks That looks amazing, smells amazing, and that was just too easy. Now for the ramen. Bring a pot of water to boil for the noodles. Saute pan. Medium high heat. I'm just making one portion today, so I'm gonna heat up the broth and saute the veggies in the saute pan. But if you're gonna make more portions, you can saute the veggies in a stock pot. That is perfectly fine. Drizzle of olive oil. Three broccolini, small bunch shimeji mushrooms, four baby corn, saute for a few minutes. Set aside. Cook your noodles to package instructions. If you're using my handmade noodles from a previous episode, they will cook in literally seven minutes. Use chopsticks to loosen the noodles occasionally. Heat up two cups of vegetable stock in your other pan. There's no need to wash out the pan. There's a lot of flavor from those sauteed veggies. Five grams kombu. Bowl. One generous tablespoon of goji jen. One and a half tablespoons soy sauce. When the veggie stock comes to a boil, remove the kombu. Transfer the veggie stock to the serving bowl. Whisk. When your noodles are cooked, strain them out and add them to the bowl.
broccolini. Corn. Mushrooms. Green onion. These are beautiful Korean chili pepper threads. All right, so these are my signature cashew ramen eggs, literally made out of cashews. Now we're gonna scoop out a little bit of that cashew egg and fill it with a beautiful turmeric chickpea filling that looks like a runny yolk. I have a previous episode where I show you step-by-step step how to make these amazing ramen eggs, and I'll leave that link in the description box below. Extremely easy. Cashew ramen egg. This is a amazing and super easy to make chili oil. It's incredibly aromatic and really smoky. I'll also leave a link in the description box below to show you exactly how easy it is to make this. I made this in a previous episode. One tablespoon chili oil. Sprinkle with white sesame seeds. You can now make this delicious gochujang ramen with absolute confidence. That looks and smells incredible. Mm. That is so packed with flavor. And the thing about ramen that there's so much going on. There's toppings that you made separately and has that nice kind of sear taste. And then you have the noodles, you have the amazing broth and that amazing flavored oil. And then just everything just comes together. And that ramen cashew egg really is like a real egg. It's, it's really quite incredible. There's a little bit of acidity, salty, a little bit of a spiciness, but not too much of a kick. Just really savory and very comforting. That is really incredible and so easy to make. Amazing. If you'd like to find more information about my vegan ramen cookbook, you can click the link in the description box below. And by the way, in that same link, you can find a free ebook that I put together just for you that has five easy plant-based recipes to help you get started with cooking today. Until then, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.